Well, we're here at the Marion Goodman Gallery on 57th Street. To take a look at some recent abstract paintings by Gerhard Richter. Now, I've been looking at the work of Richter since the uh, early 70s. And he was always kind of problematic for me because I was originally uh, familiar with his kind of smudged photorealist uh, paintings. But this is uh, some interesting things he's doing with abstraction now. Oh, this is nice. We've got a suite of his smaller pieces here. Now these smaller pieces look like they're all done with just one stroke of the squeegee. So each one of these is kind of like its own isolated brush stroke. Here's a look at the second gallery. Got some more moderately sized oil paintings on wood panels. Some of the smaller pieces I think are coloristically the most dynamic pieces. This right here is actually a installation of a large single work that's titled Simbad. And uh, it's interesting because it's using a technique that I always known as hinterglass malerai, which makes it look like it's painted on the back of plexiglass. This is 90231. 25 colors, 2007, lacquer on a Ludi bond. We'll take a look here in the third gallery. Oh, here's some smaller oils on wood. 19 by 27. And they're all abstract paintings from 2009. Let's get up and take a look at the fracture on this piece. There's a lot of excess paint left over. There's an interesting textural piece that he seems to have built up with rollers titled 392-2, 1976. And here's the back gallery. You know, you can see that uh, Richter is an extremely prolific artist. And actually these two large dark gray panels are kind of more the kind of thing I expect to see him doing. He's been doing the large gray pieces for years. But these were kind of uh, a revelation. He's got some real large scale juicy color pieces here. It's this gaseous yellow and the almost uh, fluorescent orange. Very juicy. I like these two small pieces and uh, take a look at the little margin there on the right hand side I think that's kind of an interesting thing the strokes go only so far across the canvas that becomes a very important device oh and here's one of his few photo photograph based pieces it's titled 907-1 Fence, 2008. I think there's always been a, a question of how serious Richter takes abstraction. You know, he was very invested in the kind of pop art imagery, so there's a kind of uh, sense of an unreliable witness in the, some of these. No, the pieces in this show are untitled. 
And in this series, he's basically working in a near monochromatic palette. But some of these, this one in particular, made me think of Jules Olitsky with this little action happening here on the edge. Now, if you look at all these paintings, you can see that they're done with huge squeegees. He just keeps squeegeeing layer upon layer. But I think that there, there are some elements that he he scratches in and he does make some decisions. Yes, ma'am. We do not allow pictures. You don't allow pictures, no. but I'm with the press. It doesn't matter if you're with the press or not. Show me your card first of all. Uh, you want to see my card? Yeah. Don't do that. So you're going to deny me uh, access to the show? I'm just a reporter. Okay, I know you told me that, so can you please turn off your camera? Turn off my camera? You're not doing it. In other words, you want me, you wanted to deny, just, deny me my First Amendment rights of freedom of the press? I'm asking you to turn your camera, please. Okay. 